Hello booktube, my name is Elizabeth. Welcome to my channel, Bouquets and Books. Today I'm going to do the My Favorite Things tag. It was created by Hufflepuff Discovery and I was tagged by Shelley Swearingen. So I will leave a link to both of these channels in the description box below. This is a tag to a sort of get to know you better kind of tag. So I have not prepared. I hope I will find some answers. <laughs> Question number one. Who is your favorite musician slash band? I listen almost exclusively to classical music. I rarely listen to anything else. It started at the end of the 1990s. Um, grunge was dead and on commercial radio, I could only hear that there was only one thing playing and it was very, very superficial pop music. Uh, it was the era of the boy bands like uh, NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys and Boys to Men and uh, 98 Degrees and I don't know what else. And the pop starlet like Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and uh, Jessica Simpson when she was a singer. And anyway, it, it was, the, the, the commercial radio was just not interesting at all. And I was too chicken to use Napster and... Uh, CDs were very expensive, so the, f the little money that I had for CDs I used for classical music because I could listen to them over and over and over again. So that's how I got into classical music. And um, as for my local, the, 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 my favorite band, I would have to go for my local orchestra, the National Arts Center Orchestra. I have been a season ticket holder since I'm, si since I'm in Ottawa, so since uh, 2006. 2006. So um, it would have been 15 years this year, except that, uh, well, there's a pandemic. So um, I haven't bought a single ticket this year. I didn't buy any last year either. Um, well, last year, last year was the season 2020-21. Yeah, no, there was no season 2020-21, or barely. So um, yeah, so it's been a while. I miss it. <laughs> but the National Art Center Orchestra, my favorite band. It's an orchestra. <laughs> Question two, what are your top three favorite films? I am not a movie buff, not at all. I don't think I watch 10 movies in a year. It's, it, it's that few. I do have a subscription to Netflix, but I don't watch movies. I watch TV series, I watch documentaries. I watch basically anything except movies. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because I don't want to commit to two hours of my time to watch a movie. Uh, with series, it's generally, uh, the episodes are generally shorter. And um, yeah, but, but anyway, they're asking for my three favorite of all time. So I still have a few favorites. Um, the top two would be The Grand Budapest Hotel and the, the it's a French movie, Le Fabuleux Destin d'Amélie Poulain. I think the title in English is simply Amélie. So uh, these would be my top two movies. I don't think I'm going to choose a third one because it would be significantly below the, the, the top two. So I'm just going to stick to these two. These, are, these two are my favorite movies. Question three, what's your favorite scent? I don't use perfume and I don't like candles, so I don't have an answer for that. Question four, what's your favorite Disney film? The Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Shelley Swearingen in her um, tag video, she she explained very clearly why The Beauty and the Beast was the only possible answer. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's the only possible answer, but it's the only Disney movie that I own the tape, the actual VHS tape, so um, it has to be my favorite movie. And there's this wonderful, magnificent library, so of course it has to be our favorite movie. <laughs> Question five, what's your favorite season? Spring, um, because summer's too hot, fall is too gray, winter, winter's too cold, so we have spring that is just right. Question number six, what's your favorite seasonal drink? Uh, I drink water and tea all year long, so I don't have a seasonal drink. I guess when it comes fall, I drink more black tea than I do in the summer. Uh, but um, th that would be the only difference. Because I drink tea in the middle of the summer, even if it's 30 degrees. I drink tea. I love tea. Question number seven. Do you have a favorite shirt? No. Oh, no. Yes. Question number seven. Do you have a favorite shirt? No, I don't. 
or article of clothing. Aha, I should have prepared. I'll come back. I'm back. This, whoops. This here is my favorite piece of clothing because I knitted it myself. It is my masterpiece. It is just the most gorgeous little vest. It's starting to be a bit small because I put on a bit of weight, but it's just the most cutest thing. I barely ever wear it because I don't want to wear it <laughs> because it's too pretty. But yeah, so this is, so it's this pattern and there's this red border all along the, um, the neck and the sleeves and it's just it's my favorite piece of clothing so i'm going to wear it for the rest of this tag here my favorite piece of clothing that i never wear so it lasts longer um next question question eight who is your favorite author I don't know. <laughs> I have so many. Um, favorite author. Favorite living author would be Thomas Kane. Um, I think I want to go through all of his works eventually. I am slowly making my way through them. I've read only six, I think. So I still have a lot to read from him. Uh, but uh, so far, I like him very, very much. Um, in the dead authors, I guess I really love Jane Austen because I've read all her six main novels, plus a few minor things. Um, but I would say also Emil Zola. I would like to read all of his works eventually. So that's another one that I'm going slowly through all of his works. Question number nine. Do you have a favorite spot for reading or writing? Right here. That's my reading chair. So that is in the winter. In the summer, I like to read on my balcony. I like to read outside. So um, yeah, either sitting in a chair, in a chair at a table or in a um, hammock or long chair or whatever, but on the balcony. There we go, much better. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Question number, where was I? Number 10. What's your favorite food or dessert? My favorite food is cheese. However, my favorite dessert is not cheesecake. That is a horrible invention. I do not like cheesecake. So in desserts, my favorite dessert would be anything with chocolate in it. That's not very original, but it's very good. Question 11. What's your favorite time of day? I don't know. <laughs> um, when I finish work, yeah, I guess when I finish work so I can read, so I can watch booktube, that, that's a nice time of day. <laughs> but no, other than that, I cannot say I prefer morning or afternoon or what. It, every minute is important. It doesn't matter when it is. Uh, question number 12. What's your favorite color? It's red. Question number 13. Yes. Who are your top three favorite YouTube channels? Um, I'm not going to name booktube channels, but other than booktube, I don't watch a lot of YouTube. Um, one of my favorites would be David Bruce Composer. He talks about music, how it's made. Uh, I think he's fascinating. Another one would be, oh, it, it's a linguistics channel and it's in French, so it probably uh, doesn't interest many of you, but the, the name of the channel is Linguistique. I will leave a link in the description box and same thing to the other, that, uh, the other channel I mentioned. And for a third, um, is there anything else that I watch? That, there's no other channel to which I subscribe that is not a booktube channel. These two are the only two subscriptions I have outside of BookTube, I think. Um, yeah, that, those, those are the two. Once again, I'll stick to two and not three. <laughs> Question 14. What's your favorite musical or play? I'm not into musical. I'm not, I'm not much into musical. I have seen one, I think, live. Um, in movies, I've seen a few more, but I don't have a favorite. As for plays, it would be Cyrano de Bergerac. 
it is an awesome play. I don't know how it translates. I don't know the English version, how it is, but in French, it's just brilliant. It's just really wonderful. So it's, uh, yeah, Cyrano de Bergerac by Edmond Rostand. Question 15, what's your favorite place you visited? Now I've been I've been lucky. I was able to travel quite a bit before the pandemic and I've been to a few places and including a few childhood dreams, but I think the one that stands out is Machu Picchu. I went to Machu Picchu in 2006, so 15 years ago and yeah, it was a childhood dream come true. I did the Inca Trail, so I walked for three and a half days in the mountain. It's very, very hard. There's no oxygen, and I'm not the um, I, I, I'm not the most uh, the person who's the most in shape on earth. So it was quite difficult, but it was so worth it. It was wonderful. So I'm very, very glad that I went there. And question sixteen: Who do you tag? I am going to tag two people. So that I've checked a bit before I did the tag. So I'm going to tag a Gemma from Gem of Books, who is in the Eclectic Book Club, reading the Iliad with me. And I'm going to tag a new channel. Uh, the name of the channel is Not Just Book Reviews, and it is hosted by Jeff. So it's a brand new channel. I think it's less than one month old. So go check him out. I'm sure he's a great addition to our little booktube world. So um, that is it. That was the end of the tag. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you in the next video. À la prochaine!